usage of food plots and, and green fields and areas that maybe you don't use during the winter time. This happens to be my roping arena. Uh, it's probably about an acre and a half maybe or so. And we've covered it in uh, Pennington Rackmaster and we've done it for the last several years. And in the Rackmaster, this is what they call an Australian winter pea. And this will grow spread throughout. Here's some more and here's some. This is a rape or, or people want to call mustard seed. And this will grow up and it'll sugar top. It's a, it's a relative to the turnip, but this is a non fruit bearing. You can see the root stem on it. Along with that, you've got some clover, oh, clover coming up through here that we planted. And it'll grow on into the spring and help with the deer and the turkeys and the newborn deer in the next summer. Along with it, we got winter wheat. The winter wheat gives a cover crop along with the, the smaller wire grass is your rye grass. And this rye will grow on up and it'll seed out into the late summer months. Along with it, there's crimson clover and, uh, and uh, Durana white clover mixed in. And this just gives them a supplemental food that'll enhance them throughout the winter months and into the spring and summer. And uh, we don't really hunt this area, and we try to advise people to try to pick a, a no-hunt spot that will allow the deer to come and feed. Now, we'll hunt them on the travel corridors away from here, but we won't actually shoot any animals on this field. Um, I like to sit at the house and watch them come out to feed. But uh, this is one of our wintertime food plots. The timber food plot that we filmed earlier is a lane down through an old grove of trees that we don't we keep bulls in the area but at the same time uh, we don't use it during the winter time so I go in and I take a section of it and I hair it maybe 200 feet 300 feet long uh, oh it's probably 18 foot wide and I overseed that in a winter mix with a with a Pennington seed and then that enables those deer that are in just timber country it allows you to bring those deer out to have an easier opportunity to harvest them. No you don't always have to have a big one this is you know an acre acre and a half we've looked at some others uh, you know the winter wheat fields and then these little green feed plots in, in the south they call them green fields you can put those in different areas as long as your livestock's not grazing them too hard and Winter time, this will frost over, and the rape, what it does is it comes up and it forms sugar in the leaves. It'll turn a purple, and you won't even see any of the rape come this spring. The deer will have eaten it all. They'll come through here and mow it all down. And this food plot, you can tell it's pretty even. It's been rained on pretty hard, but these deer are keeping it groomed. They like it to be regrowth. They like that short, and if it gets big or and tough, they're not as likely to eat it as they are the young tender stuff.